These amazing silhouettes are belfries. They were built in the Middle Ages to mark the civic independence of towns from the grip of local lords. 27 of them rise up into the sky in the Hauts de France area. They're an important part of local life and tell the story of this region. In Douai, this 58 metre high belfry stands proud over the town hall. It's a Gothic tower enveloped by four turrets, which allow the chimes to resonate. Stefano Coletti is the official bell ringer here. So my office is up there. Is it the most beautiful in town? I think so. <laughs> Stefano comes from a long line of bell ringers. In order to play his instrument, he has to walk up 196 steps. And waiting for him at the top is a set of 62 bells. We have an archive here and we can trace the first bell ringers back to the 14th century. I'm the 35th ringer, but the peal of bells is not at all the same. The bells are played using this unusual keyboard. The basic technique for a bell ringer is to play with the first two phalanxes of the little finger, and so we play with our fists closed. Stefano has mastered this technique to perfection, making him an international virtuoso. The oldest belfry in this region stands in the main square in the town of Béthune. Many of its sister towers have been destroyed and then rebuilt, but this one has been in one piece for over 500 years. This local retiree is the man to come to if you want to know about the belfry's history. I was born in Béthune, and nobody can touch my belfry. I've done lots of things to defend it. The lords of Béthune granted charters which allowed a belfry to be built as a symbol of the town's existence. And also there, there was a small prison, and above all, the bell. He even collects engravings of his cherished monument. So here we have a depiction of the belfry surrounded by houses before the 14th century, of course. My wife keeps telling me that I'm cheating on her with Béthune. Weird, isn't it? Access to the tower is limited and the belfry can only be visited on request. But as he climbs up the steps today, André comes face to face with a feathered invader. You're lucky. It's down below where it resonates. There are 36, 37 bells in total. Our journey ends in the heart of Flanders, in the town of Bayol where the belfry was knocked down and rebuilt several times over the centuries. Christine is our guide. She's long been fascinated by the automatic system, which rings the bells here every 15 minutes. This drum dates from around 1932 or 33. When we inaugurated the new belfry, we put this drum in first and then built the walls around it. It's a bit like the mechanism of a barrel organ, those little machines that play nice tunes when you crank the handle. Well, this is just like that, but on a bigger scale.
Of the 27 belfries which punctuate the horizon in the Eau de France region, 17 are listed as UNESCO World Heritage Sites.